what's up guys we're going to go through this tutorial on the wiggle text font uh, many of you have seen this in the sam colder videos and uh, a lot of people like it so i've had a couple requests for it so let me go ahead and show you how to do that first thing you're going to want to do is get a, a text title um, you just drag that onto your timeline open it up now let's go into an inspector and if you're going to want to get what's known as a surfing capital font now uh, you can download this for free off of uh, defont.com. Uh, download it. Um, just one watch out. It is pretty resource intensive. So if you don't have a very powerful PC, you may have some issues with it. So just a consideration. Select that font. Type in what you want. In my case, I'm going to do company name. And you'll notice it's all capital letters. Uh, increase the size here a little bit. Let's see. All right, and I'm going to adjust the placement. All right, there we go. It's going to want to go into your color tab. Now, in here, you're going to want to do what's known as a uh, get a grab a steel. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to want to right click, export it, you're going to want to save it. as a PNG file. Okay, done. Then you want to go into your media bin. You're going to pull that file up, add it to your media bin. Okay, and then go back into the edit tab. All right, so you don't need this anymore. You can just delete that. Now what you're going to want to do is bring into your color tab. Okay, so make sure that's selected. You see it's a PNG file, but now it's it, you can treat it just like any ordinary video. So you're going to go on and go into your, your Resolve FX library, select Ripples. All right, and now we're going to go through and customize Ripple shape. You're going to want to set it as horizontal, uh, wave shape, fresh nail in. I don't like shine, animate. Dial that all the way down to minus one. Okay, so the first ripple that we set up, I usually set this up, uh, you know, very low amp amplitude. Let's dial that down to about uh, 160 or so. Frequency, much really low also. Decay for now, I'm just going to dial it to zero, and I'm going to show you here in a minute what that does. So if I play this, you're going to notice it. It really looks like, you know, like a ripple. You drop a coin or something in the water, it just kind of uh, has a ripple effect out. But notice what happens as I play around with this decay. You notice how it just moves the uh, characters in the middle? So this is what we're going to kind of use in addition to some amplitude and frequency changes to get the uh, the characters to displace um, kind of uh, separate from each other. All right, so we're going to leave this one at zero. going to go and enable the second um, ripple. And I'm going to play around with the frequency. Let's see. We're going to be pretty close to the last one. In this case, I'm going to add a little decay. And I'm actually going to add a little phase also. Kind of give it a better effect. So now quickly you can see it's, it's moving characters. It's still a little wavy towards the ends, but definitely in the middle it isn't. So on the third ripple here, we're actually going to let me dial down the amplitude again. Dial that way down, frequency down. All right, there we go. Now we've got these characters jumping up and down, and we can play around with the um, the decay such that it, it looks like it's uh, uh it's moving around different characters. Right. So I just encourage you to play around with different settings. I usually only do two or three ripples. I don't like it exactly like uh, Sam Colder does but I do like it with a, a slightly different twist. And uh, this allows you to play around uh, to kind of get, get it customized exactly how you want it, okay? So if you go back into the Edit tab, now you can actually uh, treat this just like any other um, uh, overlay, video overlay. So what you do is you go in and you select it and just do Add over a video clip, and voila. So now you have it. Okay, 
Hey, if you guys got any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.